Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to Ohio. And I shall hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. He did see that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I shall hope you told your loved ones that you love them and not promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today we begin the book of First Peter. Hallelujah. Chapter 1. A real reason for hope. Yes, Lord. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. Yes, it's coming that we prepare and we're ready. Yes, Lord, let us be ready. Hallelujah. Before we begin our our reading and our prayer for children of all ages, I want to know are you guys saved? Have you laid down your life and received Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior? Hallelujah. Are you reading God's Word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible? Going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father in sincerity and truth. The Father seeking a personal relationship with each and every one of his children. Yes, he is. It's not about religion. It's a personal relationship that you have with the Father. That's what he wants. So that way you may be able to hear him when he's speaking to you. But if you don't get into his word, you cannot hear from him. And if you don't hear from him, you keep on crying out to him in sincerity and truth, down on your knees in prayer until you hear from him. He will answer you. He know your heart. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God. And he we know that he that has begun a good word he that has begun a good work will not stop until the day of christ coming hallelujah because he'll teach you not only that he'll continue to teach you he's he don't give up on you hallelujah hallelujah and i hope you read it i hope sure hope that you are living a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh is warring with the spirit always warring with the spirit the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and until we get our glorified bodies we live in these fleshly bodies. Sometimes we're in error and don't even know it. Ignorance, because of ignorance, you know. But um, we're going to continue to repent daily so that uh, we're covering ourselves, you know. Make sure that we're not living in sin. And um, you got to live a holy life. God is holy. Say, be ye holy for I am holy, say the Lord. We're living in the last days where there's a whole lot of evil in the air. And know all kind of doctrines of devils. Please read God's word and follow him and him alone. Yes, we have brothers and sisters that have been sent for teachers, preachers, and so uh, prophet, prophetess. But you have to make sure that you're in his word, you're reading his word, and you're hearing from him yourself, right? You want that personal relationship with the Father. Glory be to Ohio. But that being said, I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth, and Father God loves you more. We're now going to say a prayer for children of all ages, and we're going to get right into our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why, well, God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father, for this day. Thank you for every day. Thank you, Father, for your daily provisions and your love. Thank you, Father, for your protection. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word, and we love them. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love. Some of us have siblings. Thank you, Father God. For teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. And respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to our higher. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. First Peter, chapter 1. A real reason for hope. From Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's people who are scattered like foreigners in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. God the Father decided to choose you as his people, and his Spirit has made you holy. You have obeyed Jesus Christ and are sprinkled with his blood. I pray that God will be kind to you and will keep on giving you peace. Praise God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is so good, and by raising Jesus from death, he has given us new life and a hope that lives on. God has something stored up for you in heaven, where it will never decay or be ruined or disappear. You have faith in God whose power will protect you until the last day. Then he will save you, just as he has always planned to do. On that day, you will be glad, even if you have to go through many hard trials for a while. Your faith will be like gold that has been tested in a fire. And these trials will prove that your faith is worth much more than gold that can be destroyed. 
they will show you, they will show that you will be given praise and honor and glory when Jesus Christ returns. You have never seen Jesus and you don't see him now, but still you love him and have faith in him. And no words can tell how, how glad and happy you are to be saved. That's why you have faith. Some prophets told how keen God would be to you. Some prophets told how kind God would be to you, excuse me, and they searched hard to find out more about the way you would be saved. The Spirit of Christ was in them and was telling them how Christ would suffer and would then be given great honor. So they searched to find out exactly who Christ would be and when this would happen. But they were told that they were serving you and not themselves. They preached to you by the power of the Holy Spirit, who was sent from heaven, and their message was only for you, even though angels would like to know more about it. Chosen to live a holy life. Be alert and think straight. Put all your hope in how kind God will be to you when Jesus Christ appears. Behave like obedient children. Don't let your lives be controlled by your desires as they used to be. Always live as God's holy people should, because God is the one who chose you, and he is holy. That's why the scriptures say, I am the holy God, and you must be holy too. You say that God is your father, but God doesn't have favorites. He judges all people by what they do. So you must honor God while you live as strangers here on earth. You are rescued from the useless way of life that you learned from your ancestors. But you know that you were not rescued by such things as silver or gold that don't last forever. You were rescued by the precious blood of Christ, that spotless and innocent lamb. Christ was chosen because, even because, before the world was created. I'm going to say it again. Christ was chosen even before the world was created. But because of you, he did not come until these last days. And when he did come, it was to lead you to have faith in God who raised him from death and honored him in a glorious way. That's why you have put your faith and hope in God. You obeyed the truth, and your souls were made pure. Now you, seek, now you sincerely love each other, but you must keep on loving with all your heart. Do this because God has given you new birth by his message that lives on forever. The scriptures say humans wither like grass, and their glory fades like wild flowers. Grass dries up and flowers fall to the ground. But what the Lord has said will stand forever. Our good news to you is what the Lord has said. God's will, we come back tomorrow still in the book of First Peter, chapter 2, A Living Stone and a Holy Nation. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, nor even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. And if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. If you don't serve the Lord, you're serving the devil. I'm just telling you the truth. I always tell you the truth because I love you. You must live a daily life of repentance because we live in these in these, uh, these uh, fleshly bodies. And so the Flesh is always warring with the spirit. We know that. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something you all must do. We all must do it, so please do it. And don't. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. I don't care what somebody's done to you. I don't care what he or she has done or who they are or what they've done. Please forgive them. If you want your Father who art in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, you must forgive your fellow man or Father God won't forgive you. I love you all with the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You will have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye. And also, forgive the front of the, uh, of the video. It's a little bit blurred. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. You will have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.